How's it going guys? Spencer from Mark 7 to go over some operational tips and tricks with the priming system on the new Apex 10. Apex has five main adjustments on the priming system. Um, at the top here, we have our primer depth adjustment. Here we have our uh, primer free height. We have two disc adjustments. And finally, we have the primer side plate. Starting this off, all this information is available in your Apex 10 user manual that ships with every single press, but we're gonna go everything here in depth. Um, before the tool head comes off and before the press comes apart, let's do a primer depth adjustment. Um, simply all you gotta do is screw this Allen head rocker bolt down, and that's going to thus seat your primer more. This acts as a fulcrum on the rocker, which will push the primer up deeper. Um, these are, all of these adjustments are set from the factory. But sometimes, depending on your load situation or using a size die over the priming station or vice versa, you may need to tweak some things. So first things first, we are going to lower the tool head and this press and remove the tool head. I suggest loosening it a couple turns. Raise the tool head to take the spring pressure off. You're going to use your right hand to hold the press handle up because it will drop. Remove the bolt, remove the tool head. The tool head comes up, set it nicely on your bench. So quick word, if you are putting the same tool head back on, um, these two guide rod posts can stay exactly how they are. But if you are changing your tool head, so you're changing calibers, you're going to want to loosen these and refloat in the tool head. Um, the instructions for this are in the manual. So, next thing we're going to want to do is we're going to want to take the 1 8 Allen wrench and on the four lock screws, loosen them a couple turns. All we want to do here is we want to just take pressure off. We don't need to fully loosen them. Next, what we're going to do is we're going to loosen and remove the shell plate nut. And gentle. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to take the spring out of the way and using the 764 Allen key we are going to loosen the station 2 and station 10 spring retainers. We're going to loosen these two and as you can see this is cut so this can simply swing out of the way. Now what you're going to do is you're going to take a free hand, you're going to pull the case feed ram back and simply pull your shell plate up and out and set it aside. Now what I'm simply going to do, I'm going to rotate the press because the main focus of this video is priming system. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to remove the blast shield, internal priming tube, set it inside. Now I'm going to come up and Remove the tube adapter. Once again, set it aside. It is not applicable anymore. Now we can see the main four remaining adjustments here in the priming system. We have two stop screws here. That does two things. I'm actually going to raise the press so I can show it easier. So this stop screw changes the travel end location here where the primer is picked up into the disc. And this stop screw, what it does is it locates the primer well over the punch. These are once again, both factory preset, but using a quarter inch wrench, if these need adjustment, you can just loosen and either using an Allen key go in or out, depending if your disc needs to go further or not as far back. Um, usually a problem people have is they will actually screw this in and you actually won't pick up a primer when the disc returns. If you're having that issue, simply just pull the screw back until you'll actually be able to hear a primer drop on. So down here we have primer resting height. This is very important in the new shuttle system. The primer needs a primer punch that is nice and flush and even for it to travel across. Once again, this is set from the factory, but by loosening this screw, 
in moving this wedge, you'll be able to, on the top here, change the resting height of the, of the primer punch. If the primer punch is too high, the primer punch, the primer, as it's being delivered, can come up and be disrupted by that punch and possibly flip. Likewise, if the punch is too low in the bushing, as that primer is returned, let's say that there's no case present at the time of priming, once again, that could disrupt the primer. The most important part of the new priming system is this plastic piece here. Once again, set from the factory, but this plastic piece is what allows both large and small primers to be used in the same primer housing. Loosening these two screws, you can see that this plastic piece can float all around. This is going to be changed if you're gonna move from large to small. So the goal of the side plate is as the primer is rotating from drop to the primer punch, is to set it center on the primer punch it's essential that the primer is delivered onto the primer punch in the center, so you have smooth priming with no crushing. So what you wanna to do to set it is you wanna get it as close as the primer disc as you can, but with it equally weighted on both sides. What I like to do is I like to take the ball end of an Allen key, I use the primer punch as a guide because it's about in the center of the arc, and I'll slowly bring it over till I have equal gaps on both sides. What I'll do is I'll then take that ball end and I'll just snug everything down. I'm gonna raise the handle up so I can manually operate the disc. The compliance mechanism can be used to operate the shuttle disc to make sure that you do not have any binding. Once again, if I look from the top, my gaps on both sides are even, so, and I don't have any binding, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come and I'm gonna cinch this down. That's all you have to do, but that is a very important adjustment on this. Okay, so one last thing I'm gonna go over is removal of the disc. Um, this is important, God forbid you have any debris, powder, primer dust get underneath your disc. What I'm gonna do is just take this one shoulder bolt out. Easy tip and trick that I like to use to get the disc off is simply this little fridge magnet. Flipped it right off. All it is held on by right now is this little dowel. So all I would do is I would take a shop rag, come in here, clean off everything. Um, don't really recommend um, loading this up with oil. You can put a little bit of oil on the bottom here where the a primer would not rotate, but oil will attract dust and powder and everything else, so we, we don't advise that. Um, another thing you can see here is the primer resting height, which I talked about before. As you can see, this primer punch is flush with the bushing. That is so when the primer comes over, it has a nice smooth surface and no disruption on top of it. If this was too low or too high, you could experience primer issues. Okay, so I'm gonna reinstall the disc. One. One important note when reassembling your primer disc, ensure that the shoulder bolt is tight. If you're having any sort of binding or unusual movement of your primer system, the first thing you're gonna to wanna to check is that that shoulder bolt is nice and tight. Thanks guys for watching this video. If you have any more questions, give us a call. 1-800-4MARK-7 or email us support at markvii-loading.com. Thank you.